Quartz veins are natural deposits of minerals that are really important and have produced a huge amount of gold and silver and other minerals and they're just really interesting and potentially very valuable. Now, the quartz is a natural compound of the two most common elements in the Earth's crust. So let's take a look at some examples of what quartz veins look like in the natural wild, in their natural environment that you might run across if you were out in the field prospecting and exploring. And although usually if you find gold, you'll find quartz with it, but it doesn't work the other way around. That if you find quartz, you're gonna find gold. If you find gold, you're gonna find quartz. But if you find quartz, may or may not find gold. Because it, it works because quartz is super, super common. But gold, you know, is really rare. And that's why when you find gold, you almost always or very frequently find quartz with it. But if you find quartz, you're not necessarily going to find gold with it. In fact, honestly, there are far, far, far more barren quartz veins than there are veins with significant gold in them. Let me show you some examples of rich gold quartz. It is true that even veins that are mostly barren may have spits and spots of significant gold in them. And even veins that are rich in gold will have rich spots and then a lot of low grade. Here's a rich specimen of gold quartz. It looks like what most people think of. There's some beautiful white quartz and then of course the beautiful yellow metallic gold with a, a couple of iron stainy type stuff on it. This is what most people think of. This specimen is fist size and probably contains about three quarters of an ounce of gold. Sometimes golden quartz is just white quartz and yellow gold and no iron staining at all. But more often than not, there's significant iron staining along with the quartz and the gold, as in this specimen from Arizona. And the gold can take various forms. The gold in this specimen from Nevada is just little tiny dots of gold that occur in the fractures of the rock. In this specimen, the gold is in the form of wires, and the rusty brown stuff is iron oxides. It once was pyrite, but weathering has converted it to rust. But not all rich gold ores have obvious gold in them, sticking out and easily visible to the eye. This is a material that a friend mines on his claim, and it's rusty stuff and fine gold. There's about a quarter of an ounce in a five-gallon bucket, and that's about $1,000. And so you never know if a gold ore is rich unless you test it and see for yourself. 